Okay, in the viewfinder are my black grim tomatoes. And I'm going to be profiling these today. Uh, these, as you can see, are pretty good size. Just a little bit of cat facing on the bottom. They are an heirloom tomato. Very little cracking on the top. You just got to be careful not to overwater them or inconsistently water them. Uh, and like I said, you can get some cat facing, but a very nice, very good tomato. And you typically do end up with uh, green tops and in some cases some darker, even more colorful uh, tomatoes. And this is the one I'll be cutting into today. I have plans for the uh, the big ones. I'm going to make some uh, tomato soup later. So I'm going to go ahead and, and cut into this one here so you can see what uh, what it's like on the inside. Mm, it's very juicy. So there it is right there. It's uh, very meaty, yet uh, very juicy at the same time. You can see the, the juice pockets have this uh, green tint to them. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this and uh, give you a taste. And that way I can give you a, a little bit of a profile. That way I can give you an idea of what it tastes like. Mm, very nice slice. Very nice. Mm. Wow. That is a good tomato. So, it's definitely um, a slightly acidic tomato. It's not um, mild at all like the uh, pink ox heart. But it has a, a great taste. A great taste. Uh, aroma, flavor, and uh, a nice kick to it with the acidity. That is, that is really good. Mm. And, and the center is a nice, crunchy, uh, sweet. It's very sweet. So even though this uh, tomato has a bit of acidity uh, to it, it is still a very sweet tomato. I bet this would go really well with some salt. So let's put a, just a touch of salt on here. And uh, we're going to give this a try. Mmm. That is so fantastic. Amazing. This would be great on a BLT, hamburger, sandwiches, tomato soup whatever you want to put it on this this is a great tomato thanks to uh in my gar gardener uh luke for the uh, seeds i got these seeds from his uh, seed store uh fantastic I'm, I'm glad i bought these seeds i would have never grown many of the things that i'm growing this season if it uh, wasn't for him opening up that store mm. Thanks for watching.